All right, it's been a minute. Let's do uh, let's do Lutris on the Steam Deck. Um, if you've seen the Epic Games Store video, this will be similar. But we'll open this cover, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull up the keyboard. It's the Steam button plus the X button. It'll pull up the on-screen keyboard. You'll type in Lutris and you'll click install. I've already installed it. There is nothing special there. All right, now we're gonna go here games and then Lutris. We're going to open it and see if it works. Okay. All right, yeah, Lutris has been updated quite a bit since the last video I've made. And they have a way to log in directly to these stores. I'm just going to sign into Epic real quick and see how well that actually works. Yeah, okay, so it just installs the store for us. What we'll want to do real quick is we want to add a non-Steam game. And we will want to add Lutris as a non-Steam game so we can access it through the game pad uh, UI. All right, so now in Gamepad UI, we'll go to Library. We'll go to Non-Steam, and Lutris is right there. So if we uh, set up a control scheme, um, for right now, I'm just going to do keyboard and mouse, so I can use the trackpad as a mouse real quick. Yeah, the second mouse is because I'm streaming this so ignore it <laughs> uh but yeah uh other than that yeah lutris just works like it normally would and you can use it with the gamepad ui over top all right uh so something i have noticed though for the like frame rate limit to work on non-steam games it tends to only work with vsync enabled so any games you're playing through lutris or any non-steam games you'll want to enable vsync for the frame rate limit to work if you're just doing epic games i would recommend heroic launcher over lutris as of right now it's just easier to set up on the deck because it uses proton by default it can just download the games without having to download the store first uh thank you for watching and i will See you later.